fast, patiently waiting. I'm passionately smashing every expectation, every action's an act of creation. I'm laughing in the face of casualties. And Hamilton is back in Memphis. <laughs> But there's one catch. Mask required, please. You'll have to wear a mask while listening to your favorite show tunes. We were surprised because Memphis doesn't yeah. have a mask mandate or Shelby County, so we didn't think they would hear either, so we didn't bring any. Perfectly fine with it and um, trying to keep our distance. To lower the chance of a COVID outbreak, a spokesperson with the Orpheum said audience members will be required to wear masks at all times, unless eating or drinking. Additionally, concessions only will be allowed in the lobby and not the auditorium. I think that it keeps everybody safe. Um, I, I think that it definitely prevents like a, a big monster spreader. In New York, several Broadway shows were canceled through Christmas because of a rise in the new variant. But back home in Memphis. Oh my God! These Hamilton fans are hoping the show will go on. Me and mom have always talked about coming to see it. Oh so I'm like so excited. Oh, no. I've listened to the soundtrack like probably a hundred times. And so just getting to see that like live in person is so exciting. It was all they had. Right there, where the guy's actually standing in the kitchen. Okay. That was the kitchen. Jennifer Pitts Floyd and her aging mother were at home here in Truman, Arkansas, when what they thought was a tornado hit. I've never seen it before. It's like nothing but all lightning around you. Isn't that something? And our dog went through the window, and we seen it when it sucked up in the clouds. And we still ain't found her yet. You haven't found your dog? No. Your dog was sucked up? Inside the tornado, because it came through the bedroom window. Floyd says things were already challenging before this. She says her husband died last month and she's battling cancer. This is all we had left was our home. And you don't have insurance? No, sir. But just as they thought they had nowhere to turn comes what she's calling a blessing. God blessed us because we didn't know how we was going to do this. We come out into neighborhoods that have been hit by natural disasters. Clay Steelman is with the Samaritan's Purse Disaster Relief, a group of volunteers who travel the country. Their only mission is to help families like Floyd's. Chainsaw work will tarp roofs to keep the water out. Groups of 30 people help however they can, sleeping overnight in churches. Floyd says it's a prayer answered at a time when all her family has left is their faith. My mother's Bible blew out the wall, which is weird, but it blew out on the wall on that side on the ground on Psalms 36. It says I'm a merciful God because they said we shouldn't even live. We've got all sorts of glittery jewelry, lots of Christmassy things. It's the busiest shopping time of the year. And for local shop owners like Jennifer Burris, helping customers find that perfect gift is the goal. We've got our own in-house clothing line and we've got our own in-house candle line. And uh, those things are unique to Memphis, so it's not something you can just find anywhere. And I feel like that means a little bit more. Burris owns Ivory Closet, which also sells t-shirt designs unique to Memphis. She said supply chain issues have slowed down the process. I mean, from getting the pieces to printing them, it was a it was a mess for a second. It's a challenge local shops across the area are working to overcome. It has been hair pulling in a lot of ways and that we've had a lot of delay, but we're averaging 10 to 25 shipments a day right now uh, that we're processing as fast as we can. Julie Smith is a manager at More Than Words in Germantown. She said her store is also working to bounce back from COVID and hopes more people will choose to shop local this holiday season. It's absolutely critical. It's, it's um, our life uh, in terms of keeping us alive and going as a small business. I'm in Leachville, Arkansas right now where it is total and utter chaos. The gusts are still happening, but I'm going to show you the scene. We start here at somebody's car with flat tires and it's covered in residue from the storm. As we continue to look through the car, people's belongings still remain and not to mention broken glass lies in the seats. As we continue through the path, we look and see there's residue from the building. There are parts of a ceiling that now lie here, light bulbs, cinder blocks that used to be part of the walls. And as we come to the front of the store, what used to be a Dollar General has now been destroyed. 
As you can look inside, you can see that the ceiling has totally caved in and products that used to be sold at the store now remain on the ground. Local officials have also confirmed that one person did die at the scene. Now, the community is doing their best to get past a tragedy like this and be better for it. In Leechville, Arkansas, I'm Julian Paris.